what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here this is going to be just a reaction or just giving my thoughts on the recent trailer that came out for jordan peele's upcoming film the follow-up to his uh directorial debut of last year with 2017's hit get out in his new movie we have winston duke and uh i forget her name i know it's lupita i can't pronounce her last name the two one of the two stars from uh this year's black panther film they play the the main characters in this film uh it's them they play a couple an african-american couple they're going on vacation or they're going back to uh the mother's home hometown they're going back to a, a spot that she's very familiar with from her childhood and they have their kids with them and they're having a reunion with their uh with their friends and then in the trailer we see that they come in contact with what appears to be doppelgangers that look exactly like them uh, but if you actually look at some of the details in the trailer and if you look at the poster and the synopsis uh, perhaps Jordan Peele has given us too much but he's definitely given he probably hasn't given us too much and my theory might not actually be correct but maybe he gave us just enough to kind of get a sense of what could potentially be happening or knowing Jordan Peele and what happened with Get Out, he probably gave us all this information intentionally and then is going to pull the rug right out from under us and have a completely different story angle. Or it might just be what I'm about to say, plus a bit of other stuff on top of it. But to get into the theory, in the poster, if you look at the poster for the film uh, that's shown at the end of the trailer, it looks like there's a bunny in the, uh, in the center of the two heads. And in the new release poster that came out, you can see that... Uh, there are scissors the scissors the handles for the scissors they appear to be two heads back to back so that kind of resembles the original teaser poster that came out but in that poster that's shown at the end of the trailer you can see what appears to be like a bunny which is those bunnies are kind of highlighted a bit in the trailer you see bunnies numerous times throughout the throughout this two minute teaser that we get for the film and in this poster you can clearly see like an outline of bunny ears uh, and a bunny face in between the two heads so what i'm taking from this based off of what we saw in the trailer involving one of the kids the son and his him approaching someone on the beach uh whoever that was on the beach probably has something to do with voodoo i think the bunny in between has something to do with the fact that he's referencing that magic of some sort is involved here the only thing that's throwing me off here is i can't i'm not really sure how the lab that is shown in the trailer with the bunnies and the multiple clones or doppelgangers i'm not sure how that all factors into it but what i think is happening is these people they are seeing how they actually they're seeing how they perceive themselves so i have two theories these people are either seeing how they perceive themselves in reality because i noticed that the daughter's doppelganger has a bit of like a lighter skin tone compared to what she actually looks like um, and she, I, she doesn't appear to have on makeup so maybe maybe this is one of like her biggest fears or how she actually perceives herself even though she has makeup on or this is how she perceives herself without makeup uh, the mother has not the mother but the son his mouth is shut so perhaps that goes into something about him not being able to speak up for himself and that's why his doppelganger looks like that uh, and then I think the mother, I think the overall, what we're going to end up finding out is that the mother has encountered her clone before, because there is a little girl shown in the trailer that is not with the rest of the family. I have another theory that involves her, but I'm under the impression that that is Lupita's character when she was a, when she was a young child. And then when she sees the family in the driveway, she comes to realize that she's encountered these people once before. And then, of course, going back into whole what the what the tagline said in the trailer, we are our own worst enemy. I think basically this is just Jordan Peele's way of having. Uh, he's telling a horror story about people who are who are having to face come to terms with how they actually perceive themselves and face that stuff head on. Uh, and then I think another theory or another possible outcome that could come from this is the fact that perhaps that little girl that's in the trailer maybe she is like the twin of the little boy that's another thing that could be possible i don't think that's as high as a chance as what i'm saying as what i said pr previously but definitely based off the trailer you can see that there's some magic involved in it and i think that whoever that was on the beach because seeing as they had on the same red clothing that the clones or the doppelgangers do when they show up i think that person on the beach is responsible for the doppelgangers coming into contact with the family 
Uh, I think that this is the same person that had to do with the doppelganger of Lupita's character being being made when she was a child. And I think that these doppelgangers are just manifestations of how they actually perceive themselves. I think that's what is what is going to happen in the movie. Now, I'm pretty sure something else is going to be added on to that because I'm not really sure how that factors in to what the lab was showing and then all the rabbits. Uh, but I'm pretty sure something is going to have to be going on with the fact that they are facing how they perceive themselves. Uh, that is my theory on the Us movie. Just something short, simple, just a quick video. I just wanted to get out there. Let me know what you guys thought about the trailer down in the comment section below. I do think this is going to be a very solid film. I don't think it's going to be on the same level as Get Out. I do think it's going to be another, uh, I do think it's going to be a worthy follow-up though and another hit for Jordan Peele. I don't think it's going to win him any Oscars or anything. I think it'll get him more recognition as a well-established uh, place in the horror direction field or if you want to call it that. Uh, let me guys know what you think about my theory down in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video Give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think is going to happen in the us movie down in the comment section If you haven't already subscribed turn on post notifications in the description I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook Twitter and Instagram You can message me there to let me know what movies you'd like me to review in the future with all that in mind guys I will see you in the next video